Goodness, the Labor Day weekend is over. The traffic on the road was horrendous this morning. I always notice that after a big holiday. I usually leave very early. I want to beat the traffic and I come off the mountain and as soon as I hit the main highway, my life passes by on the byway. Places crowded. Everybody can't wait to get away from their families and back to work. <laughs> Human beings are funny creatures. Me most of all, but I ain't even human. I'll tell you about a married couple. They went to the hospital. Married couple at the hospital so the woman could give birth to a child. And upon their arrival, the doctor told them they had invented a new machine where they could transfer some of the labor pain to the father. He asked them if they would like to try it, and they both agreed. So the doctor set the pain to be transferred at 10% and told the man that this would be the most painful thing he ever encountered. Well, but when the labor set at the main, still felt absolutely nothing. Everything was fine, so the doctor set the machine at 20, and the man still felt fine. So the doctor set it at 50. Oh, while well, checking the vitals of the man, there was still no problem for the man. So he asked the doctor if he could set it 100%, <clears throat> because he could see how uncomfortable his wife was getting. After two hours of labor, the lady gave birth to a healthy 10.6-pound boy. Both were pretty astonished. They thanked the doctor. And when they came home, the milkman was lying dead on the back porch. Yeah, land of the vacant mind, that's me. You know, when you're retired, and I've checked this out with most of the people that are retired, and I'm kind of semi-retired. The only thing I do is play basketball, pickleball, lift weights, uh, swim across lakes, and do this radio thing. But never mind all that. I'm mostly alone in a crowd, finding solace out to sea, like a girl. <laughs> like a guy released from the herd <laughs> unwashed from the rank and file dreaming of my confidence building or rebuilding in my imaginary playground on my sailboat and busting sandcastled clouds and getting lost in a book with the make-believe protagonists raising the mainsail Two sheets to the wind, that's S-H-E-E-T-S. -E -E Better tie that tiller down. Yeah, better crank up the keel before it hits bottom. That's all I gotta say. Let's get back to the shoe joint. What shoe you in, man? Oh, it's a size 13, but that's too small. I need a 14 or 15. WRPI Troy hanging out with the dew.